Happy Naruto. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, site of one of the PGA Tour's premier stops, the Arnold Palmer Invitational, always attracting a great field. And through the years, it has been the scene of just some championship play from one guy in particular. Tiger Woods has won there an incredible eight times. We're ready to go. Off to the first hole. Frank, time for the third round and time for a good start. That's right. Uh, two rounds in the bank. And what will today have to offer? He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Birdie try again here today. Stop. Back to the action here at the second. It's a par three. Demanding hole, Frank, isn't it? Longest par three on the golf course. Slightly downhill, but you need every advantage here. It requires your best. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Now to the par for third, 434 yards and plenty of trouble on that left side. One of the hardest tee shots on the front side. Water very much in play down the left. Second shot here at the third. One of the narrowest greens at Bay Hill. Uh, water, as you can see on that left side. So for the faint of heart, you're going to miss, if anything, to that right side. And that's exactly where they put a little bunker. So be very straight on the second. Good chance at one. Pretty try up next. Just a couple of feet. made it. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo. Fourth hole is the first par five on the golf course, Frank. Very scorable. Two bunkers down the left, the first of which takes 330 yards to get it past that. Definite birdie hole, maybe even a chance for Eagle to really jumpstart the round. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. Second shot.
So the approach shot there and a good chance to take advantage. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. What a tremendous display of golf this has been. Certainly throwing an eagle against the field, too. We've seen it all. Birdies, eagles, just blitzing the field from start to finish. Frank, now to the fifth. What's the strategy here at this shorter par four? Well, if you want to flex your muscles, Rich, take it over that left, left bunker. With a little trailing breeze, you might even get close to the green. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better if it was on a tee. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, back in 1998, by any chance, do you remember exactly how many golf balls John Daly hit into the water at the sixth? It was half a dozen, uh, half a box of golf balls. <laughs> Looks like he's going to have a go at it here for par five, his second shot. Frank, getting set for this approach shot, our featured golfer is a player, it's obvious, in full flight right now. It is. This is where, it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens, it just flows, and you don't really think about it. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Moving on now, Frank, we're at the par three seventh hole. What's the challenge here? Really, the high ball hitters have an advantage here. Just try and carry it in the middle of the green. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Well, he gave us a demonstration today why he's one of the best in the sport. Every green hit in regulation. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. Yeah, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. So a tester from four feet. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Let's move on to the eighth, and Frank, what's ahead here? Big par four, just over 450 yards. Um, ideally, 
you want to get it down by that bunker where it's nice and flat because that second shot, you know what's coming up. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. Frankie's cranking it and banking it. Giant drives, a boatload of birdies. What a round. Yeah, these are the days you just dream for. Uh, we know golf's not that easy, but on a day like today, savor it and just keep going. Keep doing it. Frank, as we look at the approach shot here at the eighth, no doubt a player would be happy to walk out of here with a par. Oh, no doubt about that at all. Um, really, you want to judge your second shot to land somewhere in the middle of the screen. Don't really want to be messing with the front. Um, if you have a little look, you'll see why. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Settles in over the putt. Cleans that up in the hole. Rounding out the front nine here at Bay Hill, 474 yard par four, Frank. You, you've played this hole before. Where are you lining up when you step onto the tee here? Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power? To Smoke that one. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10. Second shot, Frank now to the par 4 10. I have to look, first of all, which quarter of the green that the flag is, because this 10th green really is four different quarters. Um, as long as you're keeping that second shot in that little area, then 10 will certainly reward that second shot. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. A sensational performance. Frank, 440-yard par for 11th. You see that number on the card, you think, driver. Maybe not. Why? Yeah, it's imperative you hit the fairway here, Rich. Uh, water obviously in play left. Two bunkers on the right. This is a second shot hole. Just an ideal lie, Frank. What can he do from here? Well, if he takes advantage of the tee shot now and goes at this flag, then he'll certainly gain on the field. Frank, another good hole to par for 11th, looking at the second shot now. Yeah, the second shot has a similar look to the second shot at the third hole at Bay Hill. Water all down the left-hand side that has to be respected. And a green, really, where you've got to favor the right side, or at least right of middle. Good swing, good shot yet again. Just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Beautifully done. That's a birdie. 
Frank, now we're at the 574-yard, par 5, 12th. How critical are the par 5s if you're trying to put a score on the board here at Bay Hill? The crucial, Rich, because the, the par 4s are very, very difficult. So any time you get a par 5, you really got to take advantage of it. That is just a beautiful shot. Second from an excellent lie. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Sometimes he get breaks and he got one right there. Yeah, I guess uh, the bunker was uh, a little smaller than I thought it was. I kept doing for that. These putts keep the round together. Comfortably knocks it in. Par 4 13, Frank, you've played it on a number of occasions. How do you attack this hole? Really one of the shortest on the golf course, but uh, this is a fool's paradise here. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Second shot, good look at the green. I like the looks of this one. That will be a great look at birdie. Twelve feet still to go. Great roll right there. Just a pure stroke right in the heart. 14th hole, Frank. More than 200 yards, par three. This is no picnic. No, it plays a little longer than that, too. Slightly uphill. You've got to carry the ball onto the front of the screen. It will not run up. Good looking shot right here. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, deep in the round at the 15th, you need to maybe make something happen. How difficult is that with such a huge dog leg here? Once again, make sure you know the distance to carry the bunker or run out. You've got to play to your strength. This is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. We've seen guys through the years blow the tournament right on this hole. Yeah, if you get a little too greedy here, you try and make eagle. Uh, <laughs> it's sometimes with a good tee shot, it's an easy four, but a three brings seven into play.
Great line. What a great shot. He has really hit it a long way. Now the second shot to the par five. Yeah. Oh, this is right at it. And it makes the green in regulation. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. The birdies are nice, but the eagles are better. Always like this par 3, Frank. Par 3, 17. Let me amend that. I like watching the best in the world play it because it can be daunting, especially with the pressure ratcheted up. When they have the tournament on, this green is brick hard. Um, it's a little bit downhill. That's about the only advantage you get. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Not a gimme, but well within his range. in the heart. 2008, Frank, Tiger made that 25-foot putt right here at the 18th, final round to beat Bart Bryant by a shot. Then again, for a second straight year, he birdied this hole to defeat Sean O'Hare. Yeah, he's had a similar putt there uh, at least three or four times, actually, to win the event. And he's been one of the few players to read it correctly. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Uh, so I know that first number is a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. Trying to make yet another birdie. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Oh man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Just five feet left. And drops it in. You know, Tiger was born on the same day as LeBron James, December 30th. And he's had his share of slam dunks, especially on the 18th hole here at Bay Hill. Yeah, he's just a perfect fit for the golf course. Um, you'd think every now and again he fears left, but he doesn't fear left at Bay Hill. Uh, we, we've seen his best golf over the years, over the last 15 or so years. To win there eight times, nobody's come close to that. Ernie Els, one of the great players in the world, has won it twice. Shout out to the 50th anniversary anniversary of the first ever moon landing on today, July 20th, 2019. 16 hours over and out.